Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. In today's video, we are gonna make this adorable little harvest bag out of our Santa's bags in the holiday catalog. And we've got an adorable little clip here with our braided linen trim and some coloring, chicken wire element, and then the tin tile folder back here. So stay tuned, I'm gonna grab my supplies and we'll get started. I've got a two inch by five and a half inch strip of Blackberry Bliss, which I'm gonna end up cutting down, but this is what we're gonna use for now. I have taken one of our chicken wire elements and I have cut it at about two inches. So we only need this section here. And then I have the largest circle from the Stitched Shapes Circles cut out here. And then we're gonna use one of our fun little Santa's bags. These are little cotton bags that you can stamp on or not stamp on. You can spritz them with our shimmer paints mixed with alcohol. Uh, they're just adorable and I'm kind of excited to be able to use them. All right, we also need a strip of mint macaron and this measures three inches by five eighths of an inch. And I've got a little bow here tied from our braided linen trim. And we've also got one of our little galvanized clips that are part of this suite. These are a lot of fun, just add a real nice detail. And we're going to use some of our Stampin' Blends markers. We've got the Mango Melody, the Blackberry Bliss, and the Cajun Craze, along with a Mint Macaron regular marker. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this over to my tin tile folder. All right, here's my tin tile folder. And then I'm going to spritz this with a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to get it a little bit wet. And that way um, I'll get a nice uh, way deeper impression that way. So I'm just going to line this up inside the folder about like so. And then I'm gonna to run to my big shot and run this through and I'll be right back. All right, so I run that through and here's what we have. Look at that amazing, amazing impression. That is just the coolest thing ever. I'm gonna bring in my banner triple punch and I'm gonna slide this in here all the way to the back. Snip that off. All right, and then this piece here, we're gonna do some stamping. I'm gonna bring in one of the images from the stamp set. And my Memento Tuxedo Black Pad. Get this all inked up here. I'm just going to stamp this uh, sort of near the top of the circle. Like that. Okay, let's set that stuff aside. And while we're doing that, I'm going to get some tissue paper. All right, so I just got some lilac colored tissue paper here, and I actually have a necklace that I'm going to gift to a friend. So I would put the necklace in here, and then I would kind of wrap it all up, just kind of in a ball, and then I would go ahead and stick it inside the little bag. It's our cute little Santa sacks. They're so cute. And then I'll just kind of manipulate it with the necklace in there. I can manipulate that pretty easily, and then we'll just cinch that tight uh, and then kind of close it like that. So I do need to color this piece here. So let me zoom in a little bit. Right, we're gonna start with, oops, is this my dark? Yes, my dark mango melody and we're gonna just add a little bit at the bottoms of these little, um, uh, maybe they're pussy willows, I'm not sure. I am not a flower person. I don't know about very many flowers. Okay, bring in the light, add a little bit of color that way, and get all these done. And I think I might speed the video up so this doesn't take quite as long, so I'll stop talking and speed it up. My Stampin' Right marker, I'm going to do the leaves. Dark Blackberry Bliss. I'm just going to kind of randomly go around this image here. Bring in the lights and do some blending. Cajun Craze for this other flowers here. Blackberry Bliss. And the color lifter here to maybe do a little bit of blending in the center. Let's see what happens with that. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out. All right, so now we're just gonna do some layering. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive. 
this is going to be behind my circle. So uh, the easy way to attach this chicken wire here. About like so. And then the circle I'm going to add with some dimensionals. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw. Let's see, we're going to have the circle be about like that. So we'll just throw some dimensionals on here. Okay. About like so. And I'm going to end up cutting that top part off because I don't need that. So we'll just take some snips, snip that right off. So this now measures about, what do we have this here? From the end to the point is about four and a half inches. Okay, here's my little uh, bow that I tied from some of our braided linen trim. I just tied it into a bow. I take it, make a couple loops, loop them together, and then I have a bow. All right, so we've got a clip here. Oh, here's a clip that I already was using. I was like, I couldn't find the darn thing. It's always right in front of your face, right? And so I'm just going to set the clip right there, kind of off to the side a little bit. And then I'm going to add my uh, bow with a glue dot. All right, here's some glue dots. Get one of those. And we'll get that right in there like that. Okay, so I need to do a sentiment here. So here is my little strip of mint macaron. And I've got some Blackberry Bliss ink. And my Happy Harvest Blessings image. I'm just going to stamp that right in the center. Okay. And then we're just going to snip out the ends here with our paper snips and the other side and I just go straight down the center and then inch from each edge to make my banner end okay and then we're just going to add that to our tag with a couple dimensionals right in the center will work and since we put this uh, flower image up a little bit, we have some room at the bottom for the sentiment. And then I am just going to, I think I'm just going to staple this to the bag. Or maybe we could use some dimensionals. Let's try dimensionals. Didn't really want to staple that, so we'll just try four dimensionals. And we'll stick that to the bag. Okay, kind of like so. And there it is. So here's our fun little treat bag. I actually have a coordinating card. Here's my coordinating card. And you can find the video for this card right up here in the corner. I will link that. And uh, please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. You can order all your goods to make these supplies at shoppingwithbarb.com. And subscribe down here to be notified when my channel uploads new videos. And as I always say, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.